During the DSCI 2023 event, Finnish defense company Patria revealed more about its famous project. The European Union EU, has granted approval for the second phase of the project, known as European Future Highly Mobile Augmented Armored Systems famous. The project has secured approximately 95 million euros in funding from the European Defense Fund EDF. The consortium is made up of nine countries, with Finland continuing to act as the lead state and Patria serving as the industrial coordinator. In total, 18 leading European defense companies are participating in the project. The second phase, FAMOUS 2, aims to build upon the research conducted in the first phase, FAMOUS 1, focusing on the development of vehicle and systems concepts. The upcoming phase will start with architectural design and proceed to the construction and testing of prototypes. The initiative aims to leverage the collective expertise of Patria and the consortium to advance the technology and performance of future armored vehicles. This aligns with the EU's objective to enhance ground combat capabilities, especially in light of the evolving security landscape in Europe. At this stage, Patria has released a YouTube video providing further insights into the project. The video reveals that the vehicles will be adaptable to challenging terrains such as the Arctic, urban environments, and mountainous areas. Additionally, the vehicles will be equipped with tools capable of detecting and neutralizing approaching enemy drones, a feature particularly relevant given the conflict in Ukraine. The vehicle will come in multiple variants, such as observation and combat vehicles, which can operate in pairs. The system will also be equipped with drones capable of communicating with the rest of the team, thus enhancing situational awareness. Two particularly interesting features announced are the vehicle's adaptable camouflage and a silent mode, both aimed at increasing its stealth capabilities. Lastly, the vehicle will feature a hybrid engine. The project aligns with the broader goals of the European Commission to foster competitiveness and innovation within the EU's defense industry.